Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while between uh, videos, I'm sorry for that. I've uh, just been cruising around in the Forester. Now it has played up. It is uh, running on three cylinders. Um, I think just one of the plugs is powered up, so I'm just going to get it into the garage and check that out. Stay tuned. Okay, so actually running on all four, fine. Still got that ticking noise, so um, probably should get some like upper engine cleaner. That'll probably help it. Um, could scoot down to the local Subaru dealership. Should have some, and I'm just going to fix up intake as well. So. So Jen, I'm going to do the catch can system. Also, I need to <coughs> get this rear guard back on. We had a few good hot days over around 40 degrees. I came outside and they were falling off. <coughs> it was really tacky and tape, so let's get that back on. Alright, so I've got a filter connected kind of properly. <laughs> um, I've got a 3 inch stainless steel pipe in there, so it's not coming off, but it is loose. I need to find another hose clamp. And, uh, yeah. That's all good. And we've got the breather here. This might actually be why it was um, running on three. Could have got a little bit of crap in there because I just had it open and facing out the back here. So something could have went in, got sucked in. Just fouled up the, the plug a little bit. Um, but yeah, I also had this one open. So let's get a, a hose on there. I'll we'll set up uh, the catch can over there. Alright guys, I'm um, sorry about the wind in the background. I'm going to change over these. Um, I am going to put that plug on the bottom again. These two are going to be uh, for the valve covers and this will be to the intake. So we've got vacuum coming through. Alright guys, there's a bit of oil in there, I think, so... Well, actually, it's a catch can, it's supposed to have oil in it. It's all good. Well, it's not supposed to have oil. You know what I mean. I'll put the, uh, the plug on there and... Ugh, that's hit the ground when it was underneath. And there. A little bit there. Alright. Alright guys, a bit of bad news. 12 a.m. fitting. I don't have any fittings that will go into that for hose so like these ones sorry if you can't see that <coughs> so I might just have to run the filter that I got with it on there for now and just block off this one here um, and I'll pick up a fitting very shortly for that okay let's comment down below what uh, hose do you think I should use? Should I use this blue high pressure oil line hose? Um, I've got enough of it. 
So I've got this at the moment. I've got just some car heater hose. I know that won't last long because it's for water, not oil vapor. Um, and might have to change the angle on this. But uh, yeah, comment down below what you think I should use. Okay, right guys, I don't know if you can see this hose here. Got a 90 degree hose. Comes out and it's going to go straight into the catch can. And we'll have a hose that goes over to the other side. Alright, guys, I ended up using the, uh, the old a blue one. Is that one good set? That one goes all the way over to the other side. And at the moment, we are using the filter. So I'm going to need to block off. Yeah. Um, we'll probably run some hose over if I've got the right size hose for that. And uh, just have it sitting there with it blocked off, ready for when uh, we get some fittings for that. Just going to put it all back together, see how it goes. Hey right, guys, there we go. Get the catch can in, pretty stable. The pipe post is down there, this is there. And the air filter on. That's actually connected. And I end up using the blue hose. So, a bit spicy now. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.